we talked a little bit about budget early in another video when we were talking about lunches. Tight budgets are kind of a common thing now. And is it truly possible to eat healthy and be on a budget? It absolutely is. Um, so many times I hear families say, we just can't afford to eat healthy. It's so much more expensive to eat healthy. But in reality, um, if you know the foods to buy and you plan carefully, it's really easy to eat healthfully on a budget. Um, the most important thing to do is to plan ahead. So think about how many days that you're planning on cooking for the week, what you're planning on making. You can look through the ads on Sunday and find the things that are on sale and maybe build your meals around those. Once you've planned your meals, you want to go ahead and make a list. And it's so important to stick to that list mm -hmm. because we all end up buying things on impulse and that can really mess up our grocery budget. So think about going to the store, sticking to your list. If you have young kids at home, keep them at home because you really want to be able to concentrate on choosing the most nutritious foods and choosing them uh, at the lowest price you can. Um, make sure to look at the unit prices. A lot of times we assume that buying in bulk is going to be cheaper, but a lot of times it's not. So look at that label that's below the foods that says the price per ounce or the price per, per pound. Um, once your kids are a little bit older, they can be very helpful with your grocery shopping. Um, they can compare unit prices for you, or uh, you can use it as, as a really good educational experience. How do you save money? Um, turn around the nutrition label. Which option is lower in fat or lower in calories? It can be really good for kids. Another thing uh, that I hear really commonly is that fruits and vegetables are just too expensive. We can't increase our intake of fruits right. and vegetables because we're going to go broke doing it. Um, and I know every family's had that frustration where you buy something and then it goes bad, so not only was it expensive, but it, but it goes bad before you can eat it. Um, I want to assure families that canned fruits and vegetables are, for the most part, just as healthy as their fresh and frozen counterparts, and they can be a lot less expensive. Make sure to choose vegetables that are canned without extra salt or creamy sauces, mm -hmm. um, or even give them a little rinse to get the extra sodium off. Uh, vegetable or fruits, excuse me, we want to choose ones that are low in sugar. So ones that are canned in their own juice in extra light syrup or ones that are sweetened with an artificial sweetener like Splenda. We want to avoid ones that are canned in heavy syrup or even in the light syrup because that adds a lot of sugar. Um, frozen vegetables and fruits are also a healthy choice. Um, if you're going to buy fresh, it's important to buy an amount that you're going to eat before it goes bad because we don't want to be wasteful. Um, as far as fruits, we want to buy things like bananas. Um, apples and oranges and pears that are you buy in bulk in the bag are a lot of times cheaper than buying the big, perfect individual fruits and vegetables, and they're a more appropriate portion size. Um, and finally, buy your fruits and vegetables as unprepared as possible. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we want to buy the diced up pineapple or the nice fruit trays because they're convenient, but a lot of times if you're watching your budget, they're a lot more expensive. Dried beans or canned beans are some of the most nutritious yet inexpensive foods that, that you can make. Canned beans need to be rinsed before you serve them to get rid of the sodium. Uh, the dried beans in the bag are awesome because they're really cheap, but they take a little bit of extra preparation. So think about putting them in a pot of water the night before so they can soak and get soft.